in this uh, study, 100 journalists. And in the, in the study, journalists say, hey, uh, we prefer being pitched on email and we prefer to actually collaborate on an asset or a piece of content rather than get a finished version of a pitch or whatever. They say 64 said personal connection with an outreach specialist, um, mm -hmm. you know, more important. Uh, prefer to be pitched in the morning. Uh, publishers would rather collaborate on assets. So this is like just telling us, and this is journalists voicing their opinions saying, hey, be personalized, pitch me something which we can work together on. We love mm -hmm. data. You know, like, uh, and, you know, like, there's just a lot of stuff coming at us. There's more insights in this whole uh, study, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, but mm -hmm. I would really kind of yeah. go back to the data and just say, all right, prefer, you know, and how, like, what do they actually <laughs> write about? Uh, and most of them need data and insights and they want the personal connection and, just give them kind of what what they want. Don't like disappoint the rest of them while some of them might respond because mm -hmm. you do that and everyone else would do that. And I say, I think like, it's just good and <laughs> sadder <laughs> because yeah. our pitches are just gonna start going to spam. The other yeah, thing that, that happens, like most people don't realize this, but your emails will actually stop being delivered to people's inboxes if you do this too much. If you send emails that are the same, like literally your headline, your subject line, your first four lines of your email, if mm -hmm. that's too, too much, if it's the same, the email service provider, like Gmail, Outlook, they will literally classify you as a bulk sender, move yep. you into a whole bunch of grading system, and then you'll get into spam promotional tabs a lot more um you you'll have a lot more issues and problems yeah